Okay, now that we have Green's theorem in hand, let's return to the theorem that we stated at the beginning of this section. So the theorem is that if f, let's say um, f equals pq, is a, is a differentiable vector field, defined on a simply connected domain D, then F is conservative if and only if um, dp dy equals dq dx. So here's a proof. So I'm going to be a little sketchy at one point. So this is a sketch of the proof. So the first part is we say if f is conservative then dp dy equals dq dx. So we already did this. So we know this by Clairaut's theorem. Now the hard part is going the other way. So we say suppose we know that dp dy equals dq dx. We need to show that f is conservative. Okay, so how can we show that f is conservative? Well, we have another theorem which says that f is conservative if and only if the integral of f along any closed loop is zero. So it's enough to show that the integral over c, actually I shouldn't put a circle in there because I'm talking about an arbitrary loop, so the integral over c of f dot dr equals zero for every closed curve c. In D. Now, it turns out that it's enough to do this when the curve C is simple. And, and, and closed, of course. So that requires a bit of explanation. Uh, one way you could think about it is if you have a curve which is not simple, then you could divide it up into simple curves. Um, or a, a better way to say it is if you if you look at the, the proof that if integral over c is zero for every closed curve, then f is conservative, then in that proof you actually only really need to use certain simple curves, in fact certain rectangles. Um, anyway, let's just Let's just, let's just see why this is true when c is simple, okay? So we know that, so if c is simple, then c, we know by the Jordan curve theorem that c bounds the region R. Um, and now we have to use the fact that d is simply connected. So since d is simply connected, R is a subset of the domain D. So let me draw a picture to see what the point is here. So here's our domain D. All right, and uh, here's our curve C. And C bounds some region R, which looks like this. 
And the claim is that all of that region in R is contained in the domain D. And that's true basically because D doesn't have any holes. So if D, if D had a hole like, like this, then this part of the region R over here would not be in the domain D and that would be a problem. Um, but D doesn't have any holes, so, the, so all of the region R is going to be contained in D. So if you want to really do this rigorously, you need to explain that more. But, but that's the intuition. So since D has no holes, the entire region is in D. And the reason why we need to use that fact is because um, we're now going to apply Green's theorem to R. And to apply Green's theorem, we need um, P and Q to be defined over all of R. Okay, so by Green's theorem, the integral over C of um, of f dot dr, I mean f dot dr is the same as p dx plus q dy, is equal to the double integral over r of dq dx minus p, dp dy dA. But now look at our assumption. We assumed that dp dy equals dq dx. So this integrand is zero by assumption. So if you integrate zero over any region, you're always going to get zero. So that's what we needed to show. So that's, that's the proof. Modulo the little points that I was catchy about. Okay, so let's go over this again. So you want to show that f is conservative if and only if dp dy equals dq dx. Now, if f is conservative, then by Clairaut's theorem, so we write f as the gradient of some potential, and then if you look at the second derivatives of that potential and use Clairaut's theorem, you get this equation. And that's true for any domain, simply connected or not. Now, going the other direction is where we have to use the fact that the domain is simply connected. So we assume that this equation holds, that dp dy equals dq dx, and to prove that f is conservative, we need to show that it integrates to zero around any closed curve. And if we restrict attention to the case when this closed curve is simple, then that curve is going to bound some region. And now, because d is simply connected, the entire region bounded by that curve is in d, because he has no holes in it. So now we can apply Green's theorem to get that the integral around that curve is zero. Okay, So that's the proof of the alternate characterization of conservative vector fields.